Not many people know the truth of my career, my life. All they know is Patrick, the Olympic figure skater who was on their television set and competing for their country. It's all smiles, it's all great fun, but it came with a price and it came with expectations, a desire to be perfect and something that I'm dealing with now. I think we're so used to pretending that everything is okay and faking it till you make it. I think that sort of mentality is detrimental to, to men's mental health. I grew up with a coach who believed that having a sports psychologist or having to talk to someone about your mental preparation was a joke. It meant that you were weak and it meant that you weren't made for the sport. I don't even remember a, a day where I felt calm. I felt chaotic, it felt physically chaotic, but more importantly, I think mentally chaotic. The Olympics being every four years creates a bit of a sense of panic and you've got a total of six minutes on the ice. The highest amount of pressure and expectation to perform perfectly when you want it to. And of course, life doesn't work that way. We saw more of the beautiful skating and edges. Patrick Chan, now 10 time Canadian men's skating champion in the books in the history books. Moves to number one all time, the greatest, not since the 1930s has anybody come close to that. Once you come home though from those Olympics, you're, you're all alone. I really didn't feel like I was enough in the sense that I had no purpose, I had no career to fall into. having to figure life out after so many years of knowing exactly what I wanted to do. And I felt really small as a person. I felt like everything I had worked so hard for didn't matter. I couldn't believe I had gone from being on the biggest stage in professional sport to now changing diapers and waking up at two o'clock in the morning, um, rocking a baby. So it was just the contrast and the lack of control um, of my life was extremely scary. I think in society, we expect men to be calm, cool, just kind of the leader of the household. And I think it's so important to give space for for men to have truthful, honest, candid conversations about how certain aspects of life are really challenging. Whether it's becoming a parent, whether it's competing at the highest level, I had to have candid conversations with my family, with my therapist, about what life looks like as a perfectionist and how hard life is and how unhappy it, it, it'll be. Understanding that life is imperfect and how to live with those imperfections and how it doesn't matter what, what you achieve in this life or in this field of figure skating, it's not about the medals, it's not about the sponsorships, it's not about the money. It's about the experiences and how you grow as a person and who you surround yourself with to help you grow and have those tough conversations and share those experiences candidly and see where that takes you. My hope for the next generation and for Oliver is that there's less stigma around talking about your feelings, how life gets you down sometimes and how certain aspects are challenging and, um, and how serious it can be. I hope that Oliver will be the guy in the group to, to talk about what's bothering him or what's challenging him or some of the doubts he has in that space or just feeling comfortable and confident and present-minded to have that conversation with others. And that's why I support Movember and the space that they create for men.